I will erase this channel completely, along with every single video here. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. Everyone, once again, thank you so much for your support. Our channel had a goal of achieving 10,000 subscribers by July 2021, but we actually achieved it on January 4th, 2021, within half a year from starting the channel. Yay! However, this is just the beginning. So today, I want to explain again how I ended up starting this YouTube channel, and then talk about my dream, and lastly, my new goal. Excuse me for making such a personal video, but I hope more of my viewers can enjoy the journey of this channel together with us. Let me first explain how I started this YouTube channel. Because I didn't want to take part in the job hunting that most university students do to find a job before graduating, I became the manager of Shishin Samurai Restaurant where I was already working as a staff member. 80% of the customers there were foreign tourists. So I start to study about Japanese history and culture so I can answer any questions they had. This is when I found my passion towards Japanese traditional culture. I started training in the Yaido, tea ceremony, and no theater so that I will have practical experience of Japanese culture in order to be able to explain things from my own point of view. Also, my experience of living in Michigan, America for six years and studying in Beijing for a year for university made me think that I have a vocation for this work. Eventually, I started working at a different company, leading a Japanese cultural experience facility called Kyoto Samurai Experience. It was a 90-minute experience where tourists can swing real katanas to cut rolled up tatami mats and also try some Zen meditation. After working there for an year and a half, my team members and I were able to achieve number one in Kyoto and number three nationwide for the lesson and workshops category on TripAdvisor. I soon began to think that I want to start a new challenge by starting my own company. I quit my job and actually started my own company at the end of 2019. A few months later, in March 2020, just about a year ago, with a friend of mine who plays the shakuhachi and koto, which are both Japanese instruments, I started a new cultural experience facility in Kyoto. It was called the Japanese Music Show. A really unique name, right? We still have the promotion video we made at that time, so I hope you can take a look. Again, we started this new challenge in March 2020, but in April 2020, the next month, it was time to close the business permanently. Yes, COVID-19 spread all around the world. All the hopes and dreams we had shattered instantly. And I even had to fire my friend. All I had left was the 5 million yen debt from when I started the facility. But I have a wife and daughter to protect and was expecting a new baby in less than a year. I have to tell you, that was something I would call hopeless. I had two choices. One was to give my dreams up and start working at a company I didn't want to in order to survive. The second option was to continue pursuing my dreams by starting YouTube so I don't have to give up my dreams and may possibly be able to challenge again working in the tourism industry someday. You know which path I chose. However, within the first five months, we were only able to achieve about 800 subscribers. To be honest, it was pretty hard. I have never thought about giving up, but there were days when I tried to go to sleep, tears would flow unconsciously. Now, I'm so glad that I continue to this day. Now that you know how I started YouTube, next, please let me talk about why I started. Before the virus crisis, I always explained to the people I met that my dream is to spread Japanese culture to the world. Because I was so busy when I was working in the tourism industry, I was able to kind of 
fool myself into believing that this was actually my dream. However, once I lost my job, I had a lot of time and occasions to reflect on myself. I soon realized that my dream is not to spread Japanese culture to the world at all. Why? It's because I don't like Japan that much. Despite its long history and rich culture, Japan has many problems that are quite overwhelming. We believe that Japan is a healthy country and that we live long, but we have the most number of mental hospitals and bedridden people in the world. Half of our population is older than 50 years old. It's inevitable that Japan has an old-fashioned way of thinking and has a very difficult time accepting any kind of change. We have the highest number of young people committing suicide due to bullying and overworking. We kill dogs and cats at the highest rate than any other country. We have a very low voting rate, lower than 50%. And many of us are addicted to justice, so we constantly attack and slander anyone who is different. I was a victim of bullying myself because I grew up in the US. But still, somehow, we find our country to be a great one, with hospitality and kindness. Would you want to spread the wonderful culture of such a country? Just when I was about to abandon my country, and seriously think about working and living abroad somewhere else. I started to remember some of the people I've met while working in the tourism industry. Shogo, thank you so much for the experience today. I love your country so much. I want to come here and study someday. Man, it would be great if I could work in a cool country like this. Shogo, I'll be sure to come back to Japan so I can hang out with you. There were so many people who loved our history and culture and truly believed that Japan is a great country and have hopes and dreams here. I asked myself, am I just going to stand here and watch these wonderful people's dreams go to waste? Will I be able to withstand watching the color of their eyes change into despair? No. If there is a purpose I was born on this planet, I thought this must be it. So I decided to redirect my dream to make every Japan lover's dream come true. I will protect and inherit Japanese culture and do my best to solve our social problems, but not because Japan and Japanese culture is great and worth protecting, but because there are young dreams out there who have their hopes here. I want Japan to be the place for everyone who is willing to, can learn and live safely, healthy, and happily. I want to interview and introduce people who are working with Japanese traditional culture and are tackling social problems to spread what they do. I want to restart cultural experience facilities in Kyoto where anyone can experience Japanese culture and create employment for people working with traditional culture like my friend who plays the instruments and also for foreigners who are willing to work in Japan. I want to open an online shop to sell traditional craft work in order to protect the precious culture like pottery, dyeing, kimonos, and so on. This YouTube channel is just the beginning of my dream. And thank you very much for waiting. Finally, our main topic today, our new goal for this channel. Are you ready? Our new goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by January 4th, 2022. Exactly a year after we achieved 10,000 subscribers. But that's not it. If we fail to achieve this goal, we will quit YouTube. Yes, that's right. I will erase this channel completely along with every single video here. No. I haven't gone mad or gotten carried away. I'm setting such an awkward goal because of three reasons. One, I want to be able to support more people as soon as possible. Two, I want to show my two children that I will keep challenging myself to my limits. Three, I want to enjoy a thrilling challenge with you. It wouldn't be fun reading One Piece if Luffy was like, um, I'm just gonna stay in East Blue. Or if Naruto was like, you know, 
Being a tuning is fine for me. I want to live a life aiming to be the king of pirates or Hokkaido. So everyone, once again, I really need your help. We will continue to work 24-7 to make good quality content. So I hope you can share our channel to your friends and family. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you think this challenge is a crazy idea, please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by January 2022, so your help would mean a lot. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.